Number 11. Burmese Python The Burmese Python, which is among the largest snakes in the world, has become an infamous invader of the Everglades. A number of snakes spread throughout the Floridian wilderness after Hurricane Andrew destroyed a breeding facility in 1992. However, many specimens were also released in the wild as a consequence of the exotic pet trade. These creatures can grow to be over 20 feet long. The serpents use their muscular bodies to constrict and suffocate prey. In areas where the pythons are well established, rabbits and foxes have completely disappeared. Sightings of raccoons, opossums and white-tailed are unanimously down by over 94%. The only adversaries that these snakes have in the Everglades are American alligators, which at times become either python predators or prey. Number 10. Asian Giant Hornet With a wingspan that can grow to be nearly twice the size of a golf tee, the Asian Giant Hornet is the world's largest hornet. These creatures have recently been making headlines in the US where the media has dubbed them murder hornets. It's an apt description since their sting feels, as one entomologist put it, like a hot nail was being driven into his leg. Multiple doses of their potent venom can lead to death by cardiac arrest or anaphylactic shock. Known by its scientific name as Vespa mandarinia, the creature was first reported on Vancouver Island and then in Washington. A full-scale hunt was promptly launched to prevent the hornet from spreading to the point that eradication becomes impossible. Should that happen, it would be dangerous for humans but catastrophic for honeybees. A single Asian giant hornet can use its massive mandibles to decapitate up to 40 bees per minute. In the absence of swift eradication, these creatures could decimate North America's honeybee population. Number 9. Nutria The Koipu, also known as the Nutria, is a semi-aquatic rodent capable of such destruction that marshes may be turned into open water. The herbivores basically look like giant rats and consume up to a quarter of their body weight every day. They'll eat the stems of above-ground plants and then burrow through the organic soil. Nutrias will thus create eat-outs by removing large patches of biomass. This affects animals in the habitat but also people who are dependent on marshes and swamps. These creatures are most abundant in Louisiana where they were introduced in the 1930s. They were initially part of fur farms but eventually escaped and spread, wreaking havoc on wetlands. Even though these areas only cover 5% of the contiguous landmass of the US, they're home to almost a third of all plant species. They're a valuable environmental and economical resource that's greatly threatened by Nutria herbivory. Number 8. Wild Hog There's a distinction to be made among the North American pig populations, commonly grouped under the term wild hogs or razorbacks. The name is used in reference to actual wild boars, introduced in the 19th century, and feral pigs, descendants of pigs that were once domestic. These pig variations may resemble each other closely and often interbreed, having a high reproductive rate. Wild hogs are among the most destructive species on the southern prairies of Canada and the United States, where their numbers are in excess of 6 million. These creatures are omnivores and plants make up the bulk of their diet. They forage by rooting under the ground with their snout or tusks. They are a growing concern as they cause billions of dollars in property and agricultural damage every year. Wild hogs fragment habitats, prey on local fauna and are known to attack humans. Moreover, they are host to over 34 pathogens transmittable to humans, wildlife and livestock. One enforced control method has been shooting them from a helicopter. It's legal in Texas, the state most abundant in wild hogs. Number 7. Africanized Bee It seemed only appropriate that since we've covered murder hornets, we also give killer bees a spot on our list. The Africanized honeybee was introduced in Brazil in the late 1950s in an attempt to enhance honey production. Several dozen swarms escaped quarantine spread throughout Latin America and reached North America in the mid-1980s. 
Killer bees are faster and stronger than their European counterparts. As such, they're perfectly capable of taking over hives, whether through mating or force, and of outcompeting them. Studies have shown that they can work longer in harsher conditions and that they're more resistant to parasites. All these attributes make Africanized killer bees superior honey producers. However, they're much more aggressive and dangerous to humans. They'll attack perceived threats more readily, in greater numbers, and pursue them farther. Victims sustain up to 10 times more stings and may die from allergic reactions or by injuries sustained while trying to get away. Number 6. Red Lionfish Petrolis voltaines, commonly known as the red lionfish, has become a significant invader in the Caribbean and on the east coast of the United States. The lionfish is named after the main like grouping of venomous spines on its body. These are redoubtable defensive weapons. Although typically non-fatal to humans, the sting of a red lionfish is incredibly painful and can cause headaches, vomiting and breathing difficulties. These creatures were introduced off the coast of Florida in the mid-1980s, most likely as a result of the aquarium trade. Most of the larger fish in the Atlantic and the Caribbean avoid them because of their spines but also because they've yet to recognize them as prey. Consequently, these ferocious feeders have outcompeted many of the native species. This is further underlined by the fact that red lionfish tend to be more massive in areas where they aren't indigenous. Number 5. Giant African Land Snail The giant African land snail is the most frequently occurring invasive snail species in the world. It's also among the most destructive and a creature which, in the United States, has been given top national quarantine significance. That's because the snail is host to a number of pathogens that are transmittable to plants as well as humans. One of them is a nematode that causes meningitis. Merely handling the snail species carries the risk of infection. It's considered to be a highly destructive pest as it feeds on a wide variety of fruits, vegetables and plant material. It's a creature with an insatiable appetite that extends far beyond organic material. It also feeds on cardboard, paper, sand and very small stones. The giant African land snail may even damage buildings by consuming stucco, concrete and other similar materials as a source of calcium. It's a rare occurrence, but the snail species is also known for cannibalism. Number 4. Nile Monitor Lizard For years, the exotic pet trade has been a growing concern in Florida. The state is home to more invasive species than any other region in the country. Even enormous reptile specimens like the Nile crocodile have been found in the Floridian wilderness. There are no signs, however, that Nile crocodiles have established breeding populations. Nile monitor lizards, on the other hand, have managed to do so, particularly in Lee County. These creatures have a generalist diet that translates into disaster for indigenous species. Additionally, they've been connected to livestock and pet disappearances. Lizards have a high reproduction rate and can survive both in fresh and salt water. Number 3. Asian Tiger Mosquito It's widely known that mosquitoes kill more people per year than any other living being on Earth. According to recent estimates, there are over a million human deaths from mosquito bites recorded each year. In the early 1980s, a particularly dangerous type of mosquito found its way to the US in a shipment of used tires. The Asian tiger mosquito then steadily spread to 40 states and is expected to continue its expansion. This creature draws its name from the striking black and white pattern on its body. It has a rapid bite that often allows the mosquito to escape without being swatted. Females lay their eggs basically wherever there's water to be found, whether it's running or in stagnant pools. Less than an ounce of water is sufficient for the development of larvae. Since it's remarkably adaptable, lives close to humans and because of its reproductive biology, the mosquito is nearly impossible to control. A 2019 study in Nature Microbiology analyzed future trends such as urbanization, human expansion and climate change. 
The study concluded that the Asian tiger mosquito population was likely to continue growing in the coming decades. It's a grim prognosis since the insects are known transmitters of yellow fever, chikungunya fever and dengue fever as well as viruses like Usutu and Zika. Today's topic was requested by Base for Prayers. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Asian Longhorn Beetle In the United States alone, the Asian Longhorn Beetle has the potential of destroying nearly a third of all urban trees. This in turn would cause $669 billion in economic loss. This creature endemic to China and Korea was accidentally introduced through solid wood packaging material. The Asian Longhorn Beetle destroys trees to such an extent that it changes both forest and urban ecosystems. It's a known threat to several species of trees in North America, including birch, ash, poplar, and maple. Females will chew a hole through the bark of a host tree, then lay their eggs inside. The larvae may grow to be up to two inches or the average length of a house key. They create a feeding gallery inside the tree and progress towards the heartwood as they mature. A single larva can consume up to 60 cubic inches of wood in its lifetime, which is more than half the size of the average human stomach. Eradication involves removing infected trees and treatment with insecticides. In 2019, New York City declared the creature eradicated after a battle that lasted roughly 23 years. Nevertheless, the Asian longhorn beetle is still prevalent in many areas, with infected trees being constantly discovered. Join the They Will Kill You team by rocking the latest merch from theywillkillyou.com. Order yours today to be one of the first to spread the word. Number 1. European Starling The mind-boggling spread of the European Starling across North America can be traced back to a single man. In 1890, amateur ornithologist Eugene Schieferlin released 60 of these birds in New York Central Park. The backstory is that he was trying to introduce to North America every bird mentioned in the works of William Shakespeare. In the years that followed, those initial 60 birds grew to a population of over 150 million. They're currently distributed from southern Canada and Alaska throughout the US and into Central America. These birds form huge flocks that ravage plantations of olives, currants, tomatoes, peaches, grapes, and many more. The agricultural damage in the US is estimated at $800 million each year. The enormous starling flocks are also dangerous when it comes to air traffic as they might get sucked into aircraft jet engines. One such incident occurred in Boston in 1960 when a turboprop airliner flew into a flock and then crashed into Winthrop Harbor. Thanks for watching. Would you rather try to wrestle a Burmese python or ride a wild boar? Let us know in the comments section below.